In this video, you will learn about morphological transformations in OpenCV. We will learn about morphological operations such as erosion, dilation, opening and closing. So what is a morphological transformation? Morphological transformations are simple operations based on the image shape. It is normally performed on binary images that is black and white image and it needs two input one is our original image and the second one is kernel there are two basic morphological operations erosion and dilation and its variant forms are like opening closing gradient etc first we will see erosion you can remember this like soil erosion it erodes away the boundaries of foreground object you should always try to keep the foreground in white. Let me open an image what I mean by foreground and white. Let's show you with an example. First, I will import CV2, import CV2, import numpy as np, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, then percentage mat plot lib in line i am going to make one variable img from cv2 i will call imread and inside this i will pass the image name it is 10 dot jpg and then i am going to read this image as grayscale so i will pass one parameter cv2 dot imread underscore grayscale now let us execute our code and before that as opencv reads image in bgr format we need to convert it into rgb format so let's do that as well i'll call this variable image img then i will call cv2 cv2 and from this i will call cv color and inside this I will pass our image variable and then cv2 dot color underscore bgr2 rgb now let us execute our code let us print our image plt dot show and then image so here is the output and this is our image the number is 10 and here 10 is in the foreground and it is in white color this is what i mean by foreground number 10 is in foreground and it is in white color always try to have your image like this for morphological transformation and here the background is black color foreground is white color now let's create a kernel of size 20 by 20 because it's a big size image we will create 20 rows and 20 columns numpy array as a kernel and this and the kernel will slide through the image like uh, what we see in 2d convolutional all the pixels near boundary will be discarded depending upon the size of kernel so the thickness of the foreground object decreases or simply white region will decrease in the image it is useful for removing small white noises now let's create our kernel i'll make a variable kernel and then i will call np dot once i'm going to create a kernel of one so all the value will be one then this is going to be 20 by 20 that is we will have 20 rows and 20 column and then we will give this as u int 8 the data type and now let's print our kernel here and let us also check shape of our image amg dot shape and this is the shape of our image and this is our kernel of 20 by 20 20 rows and 20 columns and all the values will be filled with one because we are calling this function once from numpy array 
now let's apply erosion i'll write here erosion i'll make one variable erosion and then from cv2 i will call erode so we have to use this function erode for applying morphological operation erosion then i will pass our image which is img then kernel that we have defined just above here you can see our kernel and then i will pass one more parameter iterations that means how many times we want to iterate this kernel over this image and let's say i am going to keep it as one that is i just want to iterate this kernel over the image once and then let let us execute our code now let us print our image and see if we notice any visible changes plt dot im show erosion now here in the output you can see that the number has changed here so here we have 10 in uh, i would say the size is bigger and here the size of 10 got a smaller this is erosion this will erode away white color and therefore we see that there is the change in the size of number 10 here now we will look at dilation dilation is nothing but just the opposite of erosion here the white part increases and looks brighter in noise removal erosion is followed by dilation because erosion removes white noises but it also shrinks our object so we dilate it since noise is gone they won't come back but our object area increases it is also useful in joining broken parts of an object uh, let's look at dilation now i will write uh, dilation and then from cv2 i will call dilate then i will pass our image name here then the same kernel and iterations this is also going to be one now let us plot our image plt dot im show deletion and here you can see the output here uh, so in deletion the size of this foreground increases or the size of white color increases and here the size of white color decreases that is the difference between the two in erosion and deletion they are just opposite of each other in erosion the size of white color will decrease while in dilation the size of white color will increase now let us look at opening it is just another name of erosion followed by dilation it is useful in removing noise here we use the function morphology ex let me make one variable opening and then from cv2 i will call morphology ex i will pass our image and then cv2 dot morph underscore open and then i will pass our kernel so there are different choices here and we are using morph open here and then i will print this image plt or display this image plt dot im show opening and uh, here in the output you will see that here we see some differences here if we compare it with original image this is our original image and here you will see all the colors they are uh, same they are not looking there, there are no changes we can see here and in opening we can see that here it is a somewhat darker and looks like a blurry here now let's look at closing i will write here closing and then i will call cv2 dot morphology x then i will pass our image then cv2 dot morph 
underscore close and then I will pass our kernel let us display our image plt dot m show closing and here in the output you will see we got closing here and here you will see the difference between the two here this white object this is getting expanded here so we don't see the actual shape or the original shape of one so in opening the image will shrink and in closing the image will expand now we can also talk about morphological gradient it is the difference between dilation and erosion of an image the result would look like an outline of the object so let's create one more variable gradient and then we will call cv2 dot morphology x our image name then cv2 dot morph underscore gradient and then kernel now let us plot our image plt dot m show and then we have gradient and here in the output you can see that we got a different result here now we have this one surrounded by a white color and then in between we also see black color similarly for zero this is about the gradient then there is one more method called top hat it is a difference between input image and opening of the image let's create one variable for top hat i'll write here top hat is equal to cv2 dot morphology x and then i will pass our image cv2 dot morph and this has to be in capital morph underscore to top hat and then we have to pass our kernel which is going to be the we have already defined this kernel above now let us print our or display our image plt dot im show then top hat and let us execute our code uh, you will see some white color on the top of one and zero here you are seeing this white color and here also you will see somewhat white color this is top hat where the where you can see the top part of the image in white color and it is a difference between input image and opening of the image and the last operation is black hat it is a difference between the closing of the input image and output image i'll make one variable black hat then cv2 i will call morphology x and then i will pass our image and then i will call cv2 then from here morph underscore black hat and then kernel and let us display our image plt dot im show of image now here in the output you can see we got our image here and if you compare it with the original image so this image this is our original image and this is our black hat image and this image looks a little uh, i would say uh, slim or a little less in size as compared to the original image these are the transformations or the morphological transformations or morphological operations which are present in OpenCV and you can go through them one by one starting with erosion, dilation and other operation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.